Yeah. Hello, welcome to Appliance Master Live. I'm Bill. With me again this week, two weeks in a row, is uh, our favorite technician, Tom. Don't tell the other guys I said that. <laughs> they don't hear. They're busy. <laughs> okay. Um, today we are doing some hands-on training with our younger technicians or less experienced technicians. And so this way we can experiment with appliances, not in your home. And, uh, and we can take our time and really dive deep into some of these things. Tom was just working with a few of our guys earlier. What would you, you have to start today? Ah, oh, we're covering some basic refrigeration concepts, uh, getting a little hands-on for the guys to do some brazing, uh, and taking pressure readings, and just the basic fundamentals of how a refrigerator works and what to look for, and how to tackle diagnosing them. And something we always take for granted, I think, is the equipment. Like everything you need, I mean, you need, it's quite an investment before you can get started, technicians start working on these things. I mean, I'm going to say it's probably at least $3,000 of all the tools and things you need to do it, to do it right, to do a professional job. And um, I don't know, if you want to take a look over, you can see what some of, these, some of our technicians are doing. It's like, um, you know, there's, you know, vacuum pumps and scale. Hello, and welcome again to take two of the Flying Fester Live. I'm Bill, and again, the first video this week is Tom. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Well, we are uh, doing some hands-on training with some of our um, less experienced techs and appliances that they may not have uh, seen before. Uh, so they were crazy, and that's what <laughs> finally got quieter. Right on cue. So what's happening, Tom? Well, you were training earlier with these guys. Uh, yeah, it's. We're doing a couple of things, but we're concentrating mostly on uh, refrigeration, uh, the hands-on experience for grazing, uh, getting an assembly torch out, and grazing uh, on a uh, process stuff. Just kind of getting the practice so that when they go into a customer's house, uh, they kind of know what they're doing. Uh, we're doing that, we're checking uh, with gauges, pressure readings. Uh, we're also working on other appliances, a gas range we got here, Dryer, dishwasher, so it's, it's more hands on today. Yeah, because brazing, I mean, that's an art. Uh, you know, that's uh, you can read about it in a book, and uh, but you you really have to do it yourself to uh, this to, to get you know, proficient at it. And you don't want to be learning something like that in customer's home. Yeah, you don't want to be. You can, you can get in trouble if you if you're not a uh, uh, skilled with um, with working at 1700 degree uh, brazing. Uh, Anyway, so it's yeah. and everybody's taking their turns, getting uh, hands on. Yep. Uh, Lewis is doing a good job over there. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you may notice, like we were, uh, one of the things I'm always impressed with was the, all the tools it takes for one of our technicians, not only to buy, but they have to learn about. It. They have to learn how to use the vacuum pump and uh, uh, recovery equipment and. Hand tools for manipulating copper and steel and different brazing compounds, and different fluxes and manifold gauges, and the list goes on and on. It's a pretty expensive endeavor just to, it's probably over $3,000 worth of parts just to get started in this business. And, uh, you know, to buy them off, to learn how to use them, it's not a simple thing. No, no, it's not something that you're going to invest a couple of bucks at Home Depot and, <laughs> and get started. Uh, the the uh, tools, as Bill mentioned, are uh, expensive and very decent tools. Highly uh, specialized. Absolutely. Uh, and then the education. Uh, I mean, 